Hi, DGTV. Now today's a great day because I'm in a room full of shoes and not just any shoes, but shoes designed by the legendary John Fluvog, Peter Fox and some of their friends. The Museum of Vancouver is actually mounting a show right now all about their work, so you have to come down and check it out. So we're here with John. We're officially inside in front of a lot of shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you think you've designed over the years? Uh, Any idea? I have no idea. Really? Yeah, thousands. Let's talk a little bit about the collection. Um, where did all this stuff come from? We, we started to, a few years ago, we actually started to collect some things. They come up on eBay. We would buy a few here and there. I've never been that sentimental mm -hmm. and never collected them because I wanted to sell shoes and I keep them. Yeah? Right. So, and I also didn't want the sense that I wanted to always repeat where I was or look back and at the sort of quote glory days or something. So, well, I, you know, this is, and I'll just keep on doing the same thing. I would like to think that, that I can move forward. I, the footwear was really expensive back right. in the 70s. It was very hip, very trendy, very cool, and very expensive. So, I had a lot of, uh, you know, celebrities, um, people doing illegal things in the okay, 70s. Okay, now you have to name uh, drop uh, then. Go no, on. No, 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 Come no, on. Okay. Especially the illegal things in the 70s. Well, in Vancouver, yeah. there's a lot of le illegal things going on. <laughs> you know, it, it was when cocaine first yeah. started coming in and all that stuff, and the police weren't quite on it, and there was sort of, there was a subculture going on, and they could afford my shoes. You want to be under the radar, and the cops won't notice you, and you're dealing, yeah. you're dealing drugs. Those yeah, are the yeah. shoes that you pick. Yeah. With your white suit and your fedora hat. You know? yeah. So the angel shoes were really, were really important to me. There was a time when I was selling a lot of Doc Martin soles. I was designing shoes on it, on them from uh, a, a factory in, in the UK. And it just became, they became more and more popular and it started to freak me out because I'm going, I don't want to sell Doc Martens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what I want to do. These, you know, I got this angel pattern on mm -hmm. the bottom and it said they're Satan resistant. So, you know what? <laughs> they were, in fact, I have to admit, they were, in fact, a reaction to that. Are you constantly looking at people's feet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Have you ever flat out said to someone, oh, come on? No, I've never done that. Really? But I don't look at people's feet because I like or dislike them. It's yeah. got nothing to do with that. It, it, tell, it actually tells me something about somebody. Mm -hmm. And because I'm always thinking about shoes, I will, remember, I will remember your shoes and what you were wearing before I'll remember your face. Isn't that terrible? So, John, this is a classic example of the famous store, um, the bedroom in the store, yeah, right? The boudoir. The boudoir. Now, um, nice outfit. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. You might look at that photo and think, well, he, he dressed up for that photo. Uh, no. That's how you went to That's, work? I went to work that way. Did you get beat up very often? It was the 70s. I was in a small culture. I stayed in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tips when we go to buy shoes. What's the one thing we should keep in mind? Make them look good. <laughs> Just look good. You got to feel good in them. You got to strut, you know? 